after what seemed an eternity the start of the Great Glen Canoe Challenge in aid of the Alzheimer's Society was upon us. After a long drive we headed into the stunning Scottish Highlands. Would the weather really stay like this for the next five days? I hope so. We've uh, we're here. We've arrived. We're at Glen. Uh, where are we? Glen Nevis. That's it. Glen Nevis campsite. So we've got uh, we've got the little Illerberg actor set up. I've got me tent on a gear there. The guys are here. We've all met. And we've got a big uh, a big pile of steaks on the go. So we're just waiting for Rick to turn up. Rick's stuck in traffic. Traffic weren't too bad, but it took us a good seven hours to get here. You know, it's been a bit of a slog. Had a bit of a uh, bit of excitement going on. With uh, there's a rescue going on as we speak up on the mountainside. We've got the uh, one of the Sikorsky, um, the Coast Guard rescue helicopters up there. So some unfortunate individuals come a cropper, and uh, yeah, they're, they're just picking them off the mountain as we speak. So we'll uh, we'll get to them stakes and get some food down the neck. Well, we're down at Steptunes. Ste I've done it again. Neptune's staircase. <laughs> this is where we're putting in, so we might have to do the uh, the big portage. Lads are just getting ready. All the uh, there's a lot of gear to sort out. So the weather's looking pretty good. It's overcast. A bit cloudy, no rain, no midges yet, which is fantastic. Here's our craft loaded up, loaded up to the gunnels, literally. And uh, yeah, we're ready to go. We'll see you in a bit. Here, we're on the water at last. After a bit of faffing and farting, we had a bit of first aid to do. Somehow, boy decided to stab himself in the hand. So. Simon's uh, epic first aid kit came in really handy. We patched him up and sent him on his way. There's Richard in the back, top steerer. And uh, yeah, we've just got two more, two more boats to get on the water, and we're uh, we're ready to go. Weather's all right, so touch wood. Again, everything's going to be good. See you in a bit.
Yeah, we're on the big stuff now. We're on what lucky. A bit of a downpour, weather's looking a little bit sketchy. But we're not bothered about that. We've had the sail up actually. No, no, Richard no, no spent... comments about the weather anymore. <laughs> Richard spent some big money on a sail. Big spinner, come over it, 9.99. 9.99. And uh, it actually, it worked all right, actually, it was all right. You could feel, once you put it up, you know, you could feel it got a bit of a drag on. But uh, the wind's dropped now. Been uh, overtaken by rain, but yeah, look at that. Look at this business, beautiful, isn't it? We've got Rick, Rick and Jack behind us. We've got Mike in front. And the weather's coming in again, and I'm going. <laughs> Camp. We've got the. This is our first wild camp of the trip. Uh, we're on a little, we're on a little beach really. It's uh, it's beautiful, fantastic. Oh, we've had some weather and all. We didn't uh, expect that. Uh, we had we had some pretty pretty hard rain, but uh, yeah, we made we made good headway. We're about 15 miles in, so we've we've managed to get on here. Everyone's got organised. Everyone's cooking. I've just got my tea on the go over there. Richard and Simon are there, they're, they're cooking away and everyone's doing a, well most people are doing a bit of filming, but uh, yeah it's great. So tomorrow, weather's looking good tomorrow, get up early in the morning, we'll, uh, we'll try and get out with the camera, hopefully, and uh, see what we can see. I don't know what there's, there's likely to be around here, you know there might be some red squirrels, we're in a massive con, I mean you can look at that there, look at the conifer woods, they run as far as you can see, you know right down the lock. So yeah, there might be some squirrels about, there might be pine martins. We'll just head off into the woods in the morning. We'll have an hour, you know, before we get away and uh, see what we can see. Right, I'm gonna get some scrum down in it. Oh, I've had a swim as well. Yeah, we got in there, it were uh, fresh. Let's put it that way. Yeah, we were all right. But uh, yeah, we were good, good to have a swim after uh, pretty hard days paddling. So I'll we'll get some tea now, being a bit. Corn beef hash tonight. We've got uh, we've got spuds, carrots, and onions on the go. We're just going to lob this in in an oxo cube and hope for the best. It usually works out. We'll uh, we'll see what happens. No fancy dining tonight. Oh, we don't want to lose that key, do we? Why did they put corned beef in a tin that's this shape? Oh no, I just slice it down whilst it's in the tin and then bring it out in cubes. Yeah, I just don't, I don't get why you have to have a key. It's the only food stuff that's stored in a square tin, isn't it? Of uh, sitting on sand. Oh, that looks quality. Big ball of corned beef ash. Just what you need after our day's paddling. Well, we're washing it down with a, a bottle of ginger tom. Cheers, everyone. Oh, yes. 
tremendous. See what this is like. Oh. Perfect. Ready for that, si. Why? Here's a spot. <laughs> yep. So after a decent day's paddling on the first day of our adventure, we sat around the fire and had a few beers. We were up early the next morning, a nice fresh coffee, bit of porridge, and away we went on day two. Right, I've got to sort this, uh, what should we call it, carnage out because <laughs> there is stuff everywhere. That's the thing with a multi-day trip, you've got so much gear and you've only got a few few containers. So you've got this big barrel, a couple of dry bags and everything's got to go in that. So you end up with stuff everywhere so it's hard being organised. All the camera gear's got to go in, in one bag, That's got to, everything's got to stay dry as well, you know, in case you tip the canoe over. So. Yeah, just nice to, to try and get organised. I've not even got out with the camera yet, because we've been getting to camp. You know, obviously it was only the first day yesterday we got to camp. And it's just sorting stuff out, and uh, the midges are the midges are on it. They're not that bad, but uh, it could be worse. But hopefully, hopefully we'll get out with camera tonight. But yeah, let's get packed away. It's Twenty past eight now. We want to be on the water for nine and get some serious miles in today. So pack up the scene a bit and so the second day of our little expedition was underway the early morning cloud would soon disperse as the day went on as we headed along Loch Lochy for the portage at Lagan Locks With the wind behind us, it was a perfect opportunity to deploy our secret weapon, the Green Beast. The turn of speed was exhilarating as we shot past the rest of the group and left them in our wake. Yeah, right. The portages are quite an important aspect of the trip and anyone that's thinking of doing this does have to consider it because they can be quite arduous. It entails basically emptying the canoe, putting it onto its wheels as you can see there, Rick and Jack are popping those onto their little canoe trolley, and then handballing the canoe and all the gear onto the next body of water to carry on with the trip. Woo. Bit of a portage there, so we're at the end of, end of Loch Lochy, just had a few hundred yards but Agro, you know, you've got to get uh, get the big heavy stuff out of the canoe, get it on the wheels, and then drag it down these onto these little jetties. So, yeah, we're on to uh, another stretch of canal, then we're on to where we're we next, right? Loch Oik. Yeah, 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 we've got Loch Oik, and then we're deciding whether we're going down the river or whether the, whether the canal 
that runs alongside it and then we're into Big Lad, we're into Nessie so yeah we're doing all right we're making good progress half 11 on on day two this next relatively short stretch of the canal was only one and a half miles long was pretty special the scenery was definitely changing as we headed further north Better. That is better. Stretch my legs out. Hard work in front of that canoe. Not much leg room. So we're on our second camp and um, we've negotiated the Caledonian Canal and Loch Lochy. And we're on, we're just at the, well, we're more than halfway down Loch, Loch Oik. And then we've got either the canal or the river oik and then into Loch Ness. So we're doing all right. Whoa, that's hot. <clears throat> One of the lads has, uh, Ginger's brought us some of this West, West Country tea. So we're giving that a do. It pains me to say, but I do like a cup of Yorkshire tea. Now I don't know where it's going to compete with it. It's too hot at the moment, so I don't know. The tea leaves as well. You've got, to, you've got to remember the tea leaves are not a bag. I know my grandma used to make, uh, make us a brew with tea leaves. I'd always, I'd always forget. I'd take the last gulp and a big gulp full of tea leaves. So this one's for your grandma. I know she's watching us. <laughs> Keeping an eye on us. Bless her. Oh, it's still too hot. So tomorrow, um, yeah, we'll be off at the same time. We've got Fort Augustus. We'll, we might be getting a, I don't know, might be a chippy dinner. I don't know about chippy tea. And uh, yeah, we've three days to, to complete our mission. The weather's fantastic at the moment, it's superb. We couldn't wish for better weather. Yeah.
Well, this is a first for me tonight. We're on a, we're on a dehydrated meal. Very kindly sent to me by Expedition Foods. So I've followed the instructions. I've never had one of these because they're, uh, they're a bit expensive, aren't they? But you know what I mean? When you try, if you want to travel light, you know, if you're on a, a backpacking mission or you, you know, a photography trip, and you've got all your camera gear, you want to go light as possible, don't you? So, I mean, these are they're fantastic for that uh, for that game. So yeah, we're on a we're on a beef cottage pie. I've chucked some hot water in it, filled it up to the level, left it for five minutes. So we'll see what it's like. <laughs> they don't look right good when you open them up, but it smells all right. Let's have a look. If you're getting these, get a long spoon and all. We'll cut the bag down. Not bad, that. Why? Oh, hmm. Hmm. All right, that. No wonder that is the first coffee of the day. So after another good night's sleep and a hearty breakfast, the team made the short paddle to the end of Loch Oik. After a short conflab, we'd all decided to run the River Oik instead of the canal. Only Ginger made the decision to stay on the canal due to the lack of freeboard on his boat and the safety of his two little paddle partners. Even Simon decided to run the river in his beloved Cedar Strip canoe. Can't see his So after some expert advice from Rick and Jack about the right lines to take, we headed into this stunning stretch of water that for me was one of the highlights of this amazing trip. What a truly fantastic stretch of water this was.
the sails uh, the sails 